Hey there, guys. <clears throat> I've had a few people ask me about uh, how my dogs are bred, so I figured I might just get on here and make a little video, and I'll just read you the pedigree on Spook, and then I'll read you the pedigree on Lily. That way everybody knows. Spook is going to be put up for stud this year. I'm paying him up as a super stake sire and a performance sire. So... This is Old Spook. His registered name is Humphreys Fido. He's a Grand Knight Champion, Grand Show Champion, and he also has the HTX title. He made Grand Show Champion at 18 months old, and Grand Knight Champion, uh, he was still a three-year-old when I finished him out to a Grand Knight Champion. But I didn't hunt him hard in the hunts. So I, I don't like a rough dog, and if I knew I was drawing out with a rough dog, we didn't hunt. Just because I don't believe two dogs should have to fight at the tree. I think if they can't get along, the rough one ought to be gone, and the rules say that's how that's supposed to go. If you've got a rough dog in the cast, scratch him, but the guys with the rough dog said, I didn't see it. If I don't see it, it don't happen. That's why I don't competition that much. I don't have the temper for all that. So, but here's old Spook's pedigree. His mama was a dog named Hellraisin Hazel. She's the UKC Knight Champion. PKC, I think she's a Silver Champion. His daddy is Muscle Fork Jack. Now, those dogs were not hunted much in UKC. They're both. Jack's just an open PR dog. Hazel, she's a night champion. Jack's daddy was grand champ, grand night champion, champion, Mr. Jack. And I've never hunted with a dog personally, but they say he was one heck of a nice dog. And Muscle Fork Jack's mother is X Junior's Banjo Babe. Never hunted with, I don't, I don't hunt with a lot of these dogs. I'm pretty well stated myself. Pedigrees really never meant a whole lot to me. Honestly, I've had dogs since I was 15 years old, and they've all made good dogs. I've never had any dogs that were just no good. And I've had them out of every pedigree you can imagine from 1985 until now. They Walker dogs are Walker dogs. It seems like you don't have the trouble with trash anymore. You, you don't have, they handle good, they look good, they are loud, they're hard tree dogs, good track dogs. And every breed, every pedigree on these dogs is basically, they're walkers. You know, everybody says, well, this, this pedigree is a better pedigree than that one. All, my opinion, the only time papers come in handy is when you're raising pups, selling them. Or if you're out in the woods and you really gotta go to the bathroom, that's all you got, they're better than leaves. I don't keep up with pedigrees. I register my dogs because I do hunt some competition and I don't generally raise puppies, but I'm gonna raise a litter out of, out of my spook dog and my female lily this year, so. But anyway, get back on the track. Mr. Jack is a pup out of Grand Knight Champion, Grand Champion, Johnson's Rock River Samson, and Grand Knight Champion, P.R. Rich's Molly. She's also a show champion. And those dogs go back to Grand Knight Champion, Rock River Sackett Jr., Sundown Tracking Jolly, Grand Knight Champion Nocturnal Nailer, which everybody in the Walker Breeds heard of Nailer. Grand Knight Champion Mr. Rusty's Fancy. And then on the bottom side, that Banjo Babe dog, she's out of World Knight Champion, Grand Knight Champion, Grand Champion, um, X Junior. And he was bred to Knight Champion, Red Hill Banjo Babe. X Junior is out of Nocturnal Skipper and Hardy's Big Time Trixie. Both of them are Grand Knight Champions. And 
Red Hill Banjo Babe is out of Babe Stylish Banjo and Steve's Treen Julie. And that's all I've got on the, the top side of Spook's Pedigree. On the bottom side, you've got uh, Night Champion Waspy River Rufus is Hazel's father and Willow Creek Duchess Night Champion is Hazel's mother. Rufus is out of Grand Night Champion Rock River J and Night Champion Kroger's Bush Creek Dottie. Which Dottie is a sister litter mate to Mr. Jack. So Spook's basically line bred. Willow Creek Duchess is out of Grand Night Champion Honey Creek Harry and Justice's Stylish Superstar. Rock River J is out of Rock River Sackett Jr. and Harrington's Maggie, both are Grand Night Champion. Brush Creek Dottie is out of Johnson's Rock River Samson and Rich's Molly. Honey Creek Harry is out of Ball's Hick Stylish Hickory Nut Harry and Night Heat Abbey which both of those are Grand Knight Champions. Justice, Justice's Stylish Superstar is out of Crow and Grant's Cutter and Nocturnal Faith, and both of those are Grand Knight Champions. But that's all I've got on Spook's pedigree here. So, now you know how Spook is bred. Heavy Sackett Jr., and Lily, I've got her pedigree here. I've got a seven generation. I had to lay it down for a second. Oh my lord. So I've got Lily's pedigree. And guys, I've got a six generation pedigree on her. And it'd take forever to read it, but. I named her Humphreys just a little bit. And she's out of Night Champion, Champion, Crow Creek, Hillbilly, Harley. No, I'm lying to you. She's out of Grand Night Champion, Crow Creek, Hillbilly, Hammer. And Brown, let's see. Let me get it straight. Brown Tree Walker Angie. Which, if, I, if I'm right on this, that Crow Creek Hillbilly Hammer was at Autumn Oaks in 2016 and he took high scoring dog of the Grand Masters Hunt. So, I'm going to go down the, the last uh, line of this. It's, it's, it's a long line. But this is how uh, Lily's back pedigree is. She's out of, she goes back to Grand Night Champion, Rock River Sackett, Skeens Dolly, House's Lipper, Schmerschel Stylish Queen, Yakin River Champ, Shaw's Judy, Four Wheel Joe, Parsons Jam and Sue, House's Clint, Lacey's Georgia Peach, Logan's Wild Quick, Frazier's Molly, Yadkin River Jeff, Tar Hill Peggy, Parrish's Jug, Hagen Sue, The Lone Ranger, Chicken Man Brush Creek Charlene, McCormick's Super, Sto Super Joker Smoker, McCormick's Super Sally, Nocturnal Nailer, McCabe's Ellie, Batagler's Dooley, Batagler's Jill, Lone Ranger, Chicken Man's Brush Creek Charlene, House's Woody, Stone County Sugar Babe, Stone Hill Tanner, Stone Hill Miss Intensity, House's Cash, and Bowers Diamond Sally May. Now that's the top side, that's the, the sire, the male that goes back to that Lily's out of. And on the bottom side, Goes back to Yadkintar Rattler, Lockdown Lassie, 
Logan's Wild Clover, Cortez Stylish Chirpy, Rock River Sacket, Skeen's Dolly, High Country Night Heat, Lone Pine Patches, Rock River Sacket, Skeen's Dolly, High Country Night Heat, Lone Pine Patches, House's Lipper, Taylor's Hardwood Dixie, House's Tom Again, Taylor's Hardwood Dixie, Yadkin Tar Rattler, Lockdown Lassie, Hardwood Patch, Kruger's Calhoun Roxy, Hard Knockin' Stylish Haze, Smershel Stylish Anna, Yadkin Tar Rattler, Benton's Miss Ruby, Yadkin Tar Rattler, Lockdown Lassie, House's Oiler, Coon Creek Duchess, Yadkin Tar Rattler, Moonshiner Sassy, Rotor, Rotor Mel's Blasting Banjo, and Nocturnal Nelly. Now, that is Lily's pedigree. I don't know what all that means other than supposedly she's bred really, really, really good. But all I know is she's 11 months old. She'll run a tree of coon. She'll split tree. She's got a good mouth. She's pretty as the day is long. And she's probably one of the smartest dogs I've ever been around. I've had her since she was three months old. And that little pup, you don't have to tell her twice anything. You don't have to get raise your voice. You don't have you never put a leash on her. She can be standing on a tree with 14 coons in it, and you pat her up, say, all right, girl, come on, let's go to the truck. She comes off the tree, and she'll be loaded up when you get there. So... I just figured I'd make this little video and let y'all know how Spook is bred and how Lily is bred. And I am going to make a cross this summer when she comes back in heat in June. So if anybody's interested in uh, pups, let me know. If anybody's interested in breeding two old Spook, let me know. He will be performance and super stake this year. So, alrighty. Well, I've been on here... 12 and a half minutes already rambling so let me know what y'all think give me a shout y'all seen videos of them anybody wants to breed the spook you're more than welcome to come go hunting i'm not bashful about hunting so there you have it we'll see y'all later take care